believe you did this to me. You read my news. Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Round the Dial. So, I wanted to get this out as fast as possible. Uh, some breaking news, if you will. Uh, it didn't take too long. There's already... Well, for this video, we're going to use this word. Fugazi. YouTube doesn't really like it if you use the other word, F-A-K-E. So, we're going to use that word. I think it's all a Fugazi. You know what Fugazi is? Yeah. Fugazi. It's a fake. Yeah, Fugazi, Fugazi. It's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a... Fairy dust. It doesn't exist. Uh, basically, there's already counterfeit moon swatches on the market. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, it. Didn't take too long. But yeah, so you can't buy them in the retail stores. So of course we're gonna have counterfeits. Uh, they're not the best. Just wanted to put some images up here, uh, courtesy uh, Lux Report. If you don't know their YouTube channel, go check them out. Uh, very informative. But yeah, uh, as you can see, the uh, the colors are off. Um, there's uh, there's errors with the uh, the dial color matching the case colors. Uh, there's an error with the band, the swatch versus the Omega logo is reversed. Uh, there's uh, fat printing on the Omega logo. It's a lot wider than it should be. Um, there's errors with there's a sticker in the center of the dial. Uh, which the originals do not come with. They come with a big sticker for the whole face. They, this one has a small swatch sticker in the center of the dial, uh, which is obviously incorrect. So yeah, um, you know, they're still getting incredible prices online too. They're actually realizing these bidding prices. I put a few up here from, uh, from eBay, but yeah. Just want to get that out there as fast as possible. Um, be on the lookout. Don't fall for anything online. Double check, triple check your seller. Um, you know, do your homework on the look of the watches, make sure you know what you're buying. Um, there's a ton of them being made. I believe, uh, every color, every, every model, uh, is going to have a replica at some point. So, uh, you know, as you can see in this image here, they're, they're cranking them out to factories. Um, again, thank you to Lux Report, uh, for these uh, images, uh, very informative. Um, you know, I just wanted to get that down there. So the next story, uh, What's going on with the watch market, or I should say the Rolex market, actually, because uh, they kind of dictate where things go. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of factors at play here. I think people finally are realizing that the prices that we're seeing are absolutely insane. Um, is anybody really paying those prices, or are they just asking prices? Uh, you know, asking and realizing a price are two different things. Um, you know. Uh, you can't even get a Rolex really from retail. The select few that are on the list that actually get the call. You know, are they keeping them? Are they selling them? Um, you know, that's up to the individual, I guess. But uh, there's a lot of factors that go into this pricing, uh, a lot of factors that go into the price drop. The market demands the price. So if people are willing to pay it, they're going to get it. Uh, you know, the trends, you know, the top trends, of course, Rolex, Omega, down the line, you know, the most popular brands um, will command the highest prices on the secondary market, especially with scarcity. Um, yeah, so uh, factors you got to look at really quick here for these uh, issues. I think prices are being adjusted back to reality. You see this a lot of time in the stock market. A stock uh, comes out and it goes crazy or a crypto comes out, it goes crazy. And then people calm down and it gets back to earth and stays there for a while. Watches, of course, were being bought as investments. Uh, Rolex was basically a commodity. Um, <laughs> but if you look at the Chinese market now, right now, Chinese is in lockdown. Chinese market's in lockdown again, pretty much. Uh, you take all that out of the equation, and you know the Chinese market's huge in the luxury uh, goods uh, commodities, uh, especially the watch uh, division. So you take China out of the, the game right now, and you're going to have a big chunk of uh, money not going into it. So that's that's a factor as well. You got to take a look at that combined with I think that the prices are finally being, you know, looked at like okay. We're not paying this. This is insanity. Um, it's it's a wristwatch, uh, regardless of who makes it. Uh, I think people are coming a little bit back down to earth now. Uh, so you know, not 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 a crash, but an adjustment. So don't panic sell. Uh, you know, if you're in it for the investments, yeah, you're going to have issues. If you bought it to flip, yeah, you know, you might want to get out of it soon. But I think the prices will steady, uh, steadily just kind of taper off and hit a, a level where they can be sustainable. Uh, and hopefully, you know, at some point, Rolex will get back on track and be able to supply people with watches from the uh, the ADs. Um, 
so hopefully that'll happen soon but yeah just wanted to get this out here real quick especially you know the the, the replica the fugazi uh swatches you know just make sure you're you know what you're looking at when you buy these things um people are paying eight nine hundred a thousand dollars online for a plastic moon swatch you will be able to get these they'll be back they'll be in stores eventually they'll be online i did a video um you know uh, earlier here uh, on around the dial about the availability and uh I think they'll be eventually releasing them online. So, you know, just be careful out there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Fugazi stuff and you gotta be careful. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.